hello 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 my beautiful people tell me how are you today i hope you're doing good i am doing great i am feeling blessed i hope you are feeling blessed as well now thank you for joining me again on another episode welcome to the sacred space with god podcast i am your host tobaga vilagadi hashtag inkosa than the brand and i'm a vessel of god and god has sent me to serve you today now in this podcast yes you know it we love we pray we cry we heal and we thrive now i am inviting you to please come and join me let's chill and chat and allow the holy spirit to move in his power in our midst The Lord will make it happen when the time is right. The Lord will make it happen when the time is right. That's what we're talking about today. Um, the Lord has, has sent me to tell you today that whatever you've been praying for, whatever you've been walking towards on, whatever you, you have been crying for, patiently waiting, in god listen it's not in vain it was not in vain it will never be in vain the lord will make it happen when the time is right now let's dive right into it let's look at isaiah 60 the book of isaiah 60 uh, verse 22 it reads even your smallest and humblest family will become as great as a a powerful nation when the right time comes i will make this happen quickly i am the lord wow you know every time when i read the word of god it's always powerful it's like i've never read it before <laughs> so don't mind me when you hear me react like wow mm, because listen when, when god speaks god speaks and yeah this is what God um, has has placed in my spirit to deliver to you today. Um, a message to encourage you, a message to comfort you, um, to remind you that, listen, all that you've been through was not in vain. God sees you. God sees you. And God knows when the time is right. You don't know when the time is right. I don't know when the time is right. (laughs) You know, but God knows. And when he speaks, listen, one thing about God, God is a covenant keeper. He respect his word. He respect his word. So everything that God has promised you, all the blessings that God has promised you, the covenant that God made with you. It is not in vain. God is not a human being. It's all about a God that created heavens and earth. If God still provide for, for creatures that he created on earth, animals, till today, he still feeds animals, birds, as he says in his word, what will make uh, the word of God impossible in your life? Like, why wouldn't it take place? I'm talking about the birds. You know, the fish in the sea. Every animal that God created, listen, in the wilderness, God provides for those animals. How much more we, human being, we are human beings that are created by God. And listen, We are special to God. We are special to God. Because he had to create everything else. The foundations, you know, of the earth. Lay everything in order. And then at the end, he had to create us. And he took his time. He took his time with us. So listen. The Lord will make it happen 
when the time is right. Don't think that your waiting is in vain. Don't think that your hard work is in vain. Don't think that your fasting and prayer is in vain. It is not in vain. Don't think that the faith that you have in God is in vain. It's not in vain. The enemy is going to try to whisper in your ears that you are nothing. You don't deserve this. Do you think this will ever take place in your life? Who are you to think you'll be better and greater in life? Listen, rebuke the devil in the name of Jesus and speak affirmations in your life that you are great. You deserve greater things. You deserve all that God has created for you to have. All that is yours will locate you. So long as you you listen to the voice of God as God is guiding you. So today I'm here to remind you that listen. Stop being impatient. <laughs> I know. You know, the wait is it's not easy. Oh, the way, the journey of waiting for the promise of the Lord is not an easy one. But stop being impatient and focus in what God is teaching you. And wait patiently for your blessings. God is a covenant keeper. His word is so powerful. When he speaks something, listen. It will take place whether the devil likes it or not. When God opens a door for you, no one will be able to, 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 to close it. And the door that he closes in your life, nobody is going to be able to open it. So now, let's read the book of um, Isaiah 60. few verses there, right? Uh, it speaks about... The future glory of Jerusalem. In this case, God is speaking about your life. The future glory of your life. It reads, we're going to read from verse 1 to, to 5. It reads, Arise, Jerusalem, and shine like the sun. The glory of the Lord is shining on you. Other nations will be covered by darkness, but on you the light of the Lord will shine. The brightness of his presence will be with you. Nations will be drawn to your light and kings to the dawning of your new day. Look around you and see what is happening. Your people are gathering to come home. Your sons will come from far away. Your daughters will be carried like children. You will see this and be filled with joy you will tremble with excitement the world of the nations will be brought to you from across the sea the riches will come somebody say amen to that that's a powerful word and this is what god is saying to me and you today if you have lost every anything if you've lost everything Listen, God will restore. Some people had to choose God over everything and they lost everything. Some people were not aware of what they had. They were blinded by the enemy. They were, they were flooded by so, so many distractions and they lost everything without being aware of what they had. Listen, either way, the bottom line is, as long as you come back crawling to the presence of God and you start walking this journey called life with God, everything you lost will come back. It's everything that you lost that God is promising you that he's going to bring it back. And it's not going to come back no more, honey. Listen, God will double those blessings. Right? Like the life of Job. When he lost everything. And when God blessed him again, it was in double. It is what you lost that's going to come back to you. In double. And what God 
has already promised you that's going to take place in your life. That something new that he's going to be doing into your life that God, that you have never done before in your life. God has promised you two things. The things that he's still going to do that you don't know. You only know a little, you know, little glimpse of it. And the things of the past that you lost. Because the word of God says the enemy will vomit what he has eaten. If the enemy has swallowed all your blessings, listen to me. Everything that you lost, once you get in line with your heavenly father and know the authority that you have, and know that you are supposed to dominate the earth, not the other way around. The enemy will vomit all that he has stolen from you. Because it is yours. So, listen. God is reminding you today. God is speaking to you today. Whatever that you've been praying for. New opportunities. Promotions. Whatever. You know in your heart. What you have been longing for. And you know the response God has given you. And he said wait. He said wait. And your wait. Is not in vain. Your weight is not in vain. Now, let's uh, look at the book of uh, Ecclesiastes, chapter 3. We'll read from verse 1 to verse 8. Uh, this uh, verse, this chapter speaks about different times, different seasons, rather, that we go through. It reads, everything that happens in this world happens at the time God chooses. I hope you heard that one. It happens at the time God chooses, not when you choose to do it. No, 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 no. If you are not ready for what God has, has in plan, you know, the blessings that God has in, in his plans for you, You'll not, you'll not get it. You'll mess it up. You will mess it up. You need to be in great alignment with the Holy Spirit in order to receive everything that God has promised you. So these seasons that I'm going to be speaking about, these are seasons that we go through life, right? And God is, is, is breaking us to mend us again in this season god breaks us to mend us again in these seasons that we go through um god is building a character in you in every season that you're going through in life god is building a strong character in you you may not know it you may not see it you'll never see it until <laughs> the character starts speaking to the people of god the character start handling the blessings well than before the character that god is building in you will handle the blessings that god has in store for you very well that's why God is building that character in us. Because the old us, listen, we receive a blessing and we'll just demolish it. Because we won't even see it's a blessing. But the character that God is building in us. And when the time is right, God releases those blessings to us. We're going to see them clearly and we will appreciate every single bit of it now let's read let's continue to read verse 2 he sets the time for birth 
and the time for death, the time for planting and the time for pulling up, the time for killing and the time for healing, the time for tearing down and the time for building. He sets the time for sorrow and the time for joy, the time for mourning and the time for dancing, the time for making love and the time for not making love, the time for kissing and the time for not kissing. He sets the time for finding and the time for losing, the time for saving and the time for throwing away, the time for tearing and the time for mending, the time for silence and the time for talk. He said the time for love and the time for hate, the time for war and the time for peace. Listen, all these seasons are not, <laughs> it's not all of them that are beautiful. We, we only love the beautiful part. We love the healing part. We, we love the building part. We love the joy part. We love the dancing part. Season of love, right? The season of saving. This is enough talking because even the, even the season, season of silence is not nice. <laughs> right? We love the season of love, not hate. We love the season of peace, not war. But guess what? We need to go through all the seasons in order to become the best versions of ourselves. Because self dies during the seasons. Self dies. Self dies when it's in the season of war. Self dies when it's a season of death. Self die when it's a season of killing. Self die when it's a season of being torn down. God tearing down everything that he doesn't need in you. Peeling you painfully peeling you but loving you in the same time a season of sorrow is not nice right a season of losing is not nice so painful but we need to go through it in order to see him mend us again seeing him gather everything that we lost in his glorious ways right now let's look at uh the book this is the last one the book of luke chapter 9 verse uh, 23 this is when jesus is speaking to his disciples right and he said, he said to them all, anyone who wants to come with me must forget self, take up their cross every day and follow me. Hmm. Anyone who wants to come with me must forget self, take up their cross every day and follow me. Going through the seasons, these seasons is taking up our crosses and following Christ. We, we're not going to love only the good things that Christ comes with. Right? We need to endure even the bad things. We need to go through it. Because during the bad things, we are battling with the devil. Because he's bullying us. He's trying to bully us. Not to reach our blessings. But we need to fight. We need to know our rights that our Father has given us. We need to know the tools that God has given us to fight in this world. To fight in this earth. In order to receive our blessings. Whatever the enemy has stolen, how do we bring that back? By the authority that God has given us. But if you don't know the authority, listen. You let those things go. And the enemy will continue stealing from you. You will never fully enjoy the blessings. Because there is always, there is always going to be something that the devil is going to be stealing from you. 
once you allow him to do one single thing he's gonna forever do it whether you like it or not and you're gonna allow yourself to be bullied all the time and you'll be like no it's fine now let us lie ah oh, you know the devil doesn't give us peace you know did god say let it let it slide unless god told you to let it slide then yes we can let it slide but you are not about to be punked by the devil stealing what is yours what is meant to be yours and your family yours and your offspring yours and your home allowing the devil to steal from you listen you giving the devil the access to steal even in in your kids in your spouse it doesn't end there so fighting in this season going through those 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 horrible seasons where we are fighting it's a constant battle god is breaking gener generational curses using us because in each and every family god is always looking for that one person that he wants to use to break generational curses in that bloodline if you don't want to to avail yourself to be the one that god's going to use god is going to look into your children but god is going to find someone god is going to find a moses that will lead the people of god out from egypt god will will, will find a joseph god will find a samuel are you availing yourself today so remember you need to learn in each and every season you go through you need to learn whether good or bad you need to learn especially in in, in the bad ones the pain the sorrow through the season of losing you need to learn the lessons listen journey a journey as a school whether you in grade one or grade two only the holy spirit knows only the holy spirit knows whether you're in university or you're in high school or you're still in primary only the holy spirit know we don't know god knows but in this journey needs you to pay attention in class. If you don't pay attention into what God is teaching you and what God is doing using you, listen, you will fail the class over and over and over again. You repeat the cycles of pain and reflect that pain to other people around you, even those that love you. You repeat the cycle of trauma and even traumatizing your own kids, traumatizing people around you, not because you want to, because now you are trauma yourself. You are hurt yourself. So you're going to, those things are going to be reflecting to the people that surround you. And there's no joy in that. There's no peace in that. So you need to learn what God is teaching you in each and every season so that you can able you can able to pass God will upgrade you so that you'll be upgraded by the Holy Spirit into the next grade in the higher grade the minute you take your notes down listen to what God is teaching you listen life is a journey every single day we are educated by the holy spirit there will never be the day never ever will be a day where you think you know everything we will never know everything until the day we die if the heavenly elders bow down in the presence of God and worship him and they take off their crowns and when they bow down and they rise up again the glory of God changes it's not like the same as it was few seconds ago as they were bowing down 
one makes us know fully all the ways of God. God is supreme. God is supreme. So, my darlings, be reminded that, listen, your journey is not in vain. The tears that you've cried is not in vain. All that you lost, I have good news for you. You will regain it in double. All that God has promised you, the great things that God says he will do, the, those new things that God says he will do into your life, listen to me. God says today, he will do those things. It's a reminder. His word didn't change. But you not listening to the guidance of God, that changes things because that delays you. You, you will be busy in the same grade for the next 20 years. And if you do that, you're going to be hating on God. <laughs> we can't say God doesn't answer. Who are you to say that? Are you doing your own part? Hmm? So you need to be patient. You need to be patient. And it's so hard to be patient. I won't lie to you. That's the hardest thing. <laughs> really. You know, all the tests, like... You be so patient, like, oh, Lord. And then sometimes it really gets hard, like, wow. And God allows you to have those days where it gets hard to feel and absorb all the pain and, you know, the difficulties of that day, those days where, you know, your journey is like, it's really heavy on you. Today, you just feel like everything is just heavy on you. So that you know what to tell the next person that will be going, that you come across will be going through the same journey, similar journey. You will know how it feels. You allow God to say the right words. You comfort with love. You have grace to other people. Right? Who are we to not give grace to other people? So, um, I hope you are blessed by this episode. I hope you are blessed. Now, let's pray, please. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, Father, you bless your name, we exalt your name. You are holy, you are righteous. There is no other God but you. We thank you for this moment that you've given us today. Father, let your people listening to this episode today be blessed. Father, comfort them, uplift them in the name of Jesus. For, Father, you are great. You created heavens and earth. Father, we know that whatever that you have promised us, we know that you respect your word and in everything that you have spoken in our lives, it will take place. Father, comfort your people, oh Lord. Rebuild them each and every day, oh God. Father, love them. Continue to love them and open their eyes. Those who don't feel loved, Father, let them feel your love, oh God. Those who don't see, Father, let them see in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Father, and we exalt you. Let your name be lifted up high. We love you. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for chilling with me, my beautiful people. Listen, I hope you're blessed for this episode. I uh, will see you next time. I love you and God bless.